Hey guys, before I start this video, I do want to mention a nail brand that we collaborated with today. Her name is Nail Addict and they're based in LA. What's great about this brand is that they are vegan cruelty free and they use a nine free formula which is basically removing nine most harmful chemicals in their nail polishes we got three colors and then a base coat and a top coat so wait <laughs> i have one of the colors in my nails right now this beautiful blue color perfect for spring the name is ice queen we also got two more colors sea swing and sun original sin which is more of a plum so these are the nail polishes if you guys are interested, this is the code that you can use for a 45% off your purchase. So yeah, if you guys are interested, check them out and get your nails all cute. Oh, by the way, did I mention? They're gel. They're gel nail polish. And if you're a nail artist, maybe check them out. See if you like it. So I'll leave it there and I'm going to let you watch the video. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Like I said, I'm back with another legging video, as you know. Because I said that in the last video that I was going to come back and do a woman's best legging review. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm pretty sure you guys know woman's best, right? Woman's best is an active wear brand and it also has um, supplements and all that stuff that you can take. Like protein powder. They also have kits like pre-workout and stuff. Like a pre-workout kit, a fat burner, and all that stuff. That kind of supplement. And I think they also have some accessories too. Check them out. But they also have a lot of sales. So by the end of the video, if you are... If you are interested and you want to get some, I would go right now because they're having a sale right now. And they always have sales. Most likely. Like every day, pretty much. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. I have three leggings. One short and two long ones. If you hear birds or noise, it's because, um, you know, nature. And my windows are open. And if you see a breeze, it's not a ghost. The window is open too. I'm going to list the colors. So this is the first color that I'm going to be talking about. It's the blue one. It's a turquoise. Ceramic turquoise. Some shit like that. So let's start with price. Original price of the leggings is $44. With it on sale is $26.40. Crazy. We save a lot of money. The original price of the sports bra is $34 and on sale is $20.40. So you're saving a lot of money. All these leggings that I have are from the same collection, which is the Power Seamless collection. Let's talk little details first. So as you can see, the logo is on the right. Nope. I can't, I don't know my directions. The left side of the legging and also on the ankle in the bottom right. And it also has very, very, very light, subtle contours. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. And it also has some ribbed type of shit. The waistband is ribbed and it's high-waisted. And this is the other color. It's like a very white, cool tone. Cool tone white. Beige. It's a beigey color. It's very different. Something I don't have anything like that, you know? So it's good to have new things trying out new things and this is the shorts these are some biker shorts i'll show you oh my god i'm so it's dark <gasps> i'm so sorry you had to see me dark i didn't even notice the lighting i'm sorry i'm sorry i'll pop in the screen price of this and what i love about this biker short is that you can pull it up your legs so they're shorts like normal shorts instead of biker shorts you got normal shorts short shorts two in one yes the shorts have the same contour type of style going throughout so now let's talk about the material itself and what i think about these leggings because i already told you the details the material is 90 percent nylon and 10 percent elastane i don't know how to pronounce it but you know so the fabric of all of this collection is very stretchy stretchy like i'm gonna show you it's very stretchy and it's very soft like once you have it on so soft it's not rough at all the downside about it being super stretchy is that it doesn't have a lot of compression so the legging is a light compression it doesn't have any, it's not even medium it's not it's not even high compression it doesn't even have nothing so if you are looking for something that has some compression maybe this is not the legging for you but if you don't really care about the compression this this is the legging for you like it, it doesn't really matter the leg area delicious it looks really pretty the leggings are very form-fitting in that area. Um, the problem is when it comes to your belly. So the waistband doesn't do, doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. It's not compressive. It's just sitting there on your body. It's not gonna do much. With these leggings, you can also pull it up your ankles. So what I would recommend for me, what I, I I love to wear these leggings if I'm gonna do leg day, then my ass can look juicier because these leggings aren't like the last ones that they write up your butt crack and you got a juicy butt like these make you look like you have a juicy butt but it also has some of that um uni butt type of thing which i'm not i don't i don't love i don't love 
but I still love these leggings. That's the only downside I have with these leggings is that when you try to put it up, so you can't have a juicy butt. It doesn't really, doesn't quite do that. No, it doesn't quite do that. And I also saw it in the model as well. And you can see it in the try-on. You, you're gonna see it in the try-on, what I'm talking about. If they have leggings that actually ride up in there, that would be nice. Or have a scrunch, that would be nice. Just have it easier to go up there because this fabric just doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. And it leaves a little a little gap and there's like extra fabric there. And I don't, I don't like it. There's like air, you know? I don't love it. Maybe if you have a fatter ass, maybe that's not gonna be a problem. But I just know it's gonna have more of that uni butt compared to the, the video of the Amazon leggings that I previously did. Still a great legging. It still makes your butt look good. Also, another thing, because of the fabric, it's very stretchy, it's very soft, it's light compression. It does not hide the cellulite. So if you're a little bit insecure about the cellulite, I don't know how much you're going to love these leggings. Pointing it out that it doesn't cover much of your cellulite. It's very much there. It will show a lot of the things that you have going on in your legs, and your butt, in the backside, everything. It's very breathable. You can shake your ass. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> you can wiggle that ass. Jiggle. Do as you please. I would also be careful with the fabric because you can easily um, maybe rip it with your nails. You can have like a little line. Like the fabric is pulled just so you're not super aggressive with the material in the leggings itself. Be careful. It's very sensitive. Very sensitive. They're right on my ankles. Like if I even wanted to, I could put them down to my heels pretty much that's a, that's a little bit dramatic but that's how much fabric they sort of have just the right amount of fabric if you're shorter than me maybe there's gonna be a little bit extra fabric but all you have to do to fix that is pull up the the fabric the material all the way until your ankles don't have that extra material there and then you can pull that shit up your ass all that extra material pull that shit up your ass it does give you a v it does give you a v it really does but it doesn't give you a camel because obviously it's seamless he does a hand. It has crotch gothic. And in all of these, I got a size small. Let's talk about the bra. I forgot about the bras. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the detail of the bra. This is the back side. It's a little X. It does also have some contours, but they don't really do much. You can take out the padding if you want. The bottom of it is ribbed. But what I found about the sports bra recently is that they have a little bit of extra fabric. So let's say here. They have that little, they do that little thing. And then the back too. They do that little thing. You can see that it's not 100% fitted to your body. I don't necessarily love that, but at the same time, it's not something that is a big deal. Like, if I return these sports bras just because of that reason, then I'm a dramatic ass bitch. Like, it's so dramatic. Maybe if I got an extra small, would that be fixed? Maybe. Maybe. They also don't give you any cleavage. They're pretty high up there, so they're gonna hide your boobies. I mean, if you go like this, they're gonna see your boobies. It's not like my other bras where they're super tight and they just go like, they're going like this and you can't breathe these are very very breathable my go-to sports bra is this one i don't have to worry about it i don't i can work out all day without showing my boobs feeling suffocated mm -mm, doesn't do that they have a logo right there that matches with the leggings when you have the set on you have the logo here and the logo here again if you're looking for some soft leggings soft light compression something that's not going to suffocate you squat proofness squat proof for me they're pretty squat proof for me. It's not a terrible legging if you want to hide your poop. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Let's see if you can catch this. I'm looking at the soft area. I'm not sure. It looks like a very witchy area. This is the woman's best review. I'm sorry if this was all over the place and there was a lot of distractions in the background. Like, I don't understand. And this is the time to end this shit right here. This is was the review of Woman's Best. I would say buy it. I really like it. And they always have sales. So if you always, if you want to save some money, go to Woman's Best. If you just want to try new things, you know. Nine out of ten recommend. Future Erica, when you're editing this video, I'm so sorry if. You just look weird or if you sound weird or if you're talking weird because i feel like i'm talking weird. i feel like i'm very hyper in this video not as hyper as i could be because before this i started doing this video i was hyper i was talking it up talking 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 if my weirdness and like came across this video i'm so sorry i'm not sorry though but i'm so sorry because Sometimes it's kind of embarrassing to edit myself doing these little accents doing these little gestures like weird ass shit I blame it on TikTok. I blame TikTok for this. I act like TikTok now. If TikTok was a person, I would be TikTok That's a bit dramatic, but I would be half TikTok. I'd be the sister of TikTok. See this is getting weird This is getting weird now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video and